Looks like someone's missing. Yeah, um, that was three weeks ago. Really? I didn't notice. I was having so much fun. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to wave six, shall we? Um, what is wave five doing here? We've already done six. I came back after the reception to finish it up. Well, what about Psycho Green? Isn't he up next? Nope, done that too. You were gone for three weeks, man. But, but, I specifically asked to do Psycho Green. That guy's awesome. Yeah, you're not gonna want to watch that video. Wait, why? What did you do? Look, look, why don't you just sit down here, introduce Wave 5 to the audience, and then you can go watch Psycho Green's roast. I, I mean, review. Roast? Are we having a roast for dinner tonight? Yeah, let's say that. Now, come on! Okay then, <clears throat> let's get this going. And now, live from the red carpet, we have Billy Cranston, Trey of Triforia, Wesley Collins, and the Ranger Slayer! Hello everyone, this is KRDM The Man bringing you guys another figure review of the Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection Wave 5 figures. I'm terribly sorry for the intermission you had to listen to earlier, so without further ado, let's get started. The first season of Power Rangers was released back in 1994 on Malaysian TV. That was the year I made my debut into the world, so I had no recollection of Power Rangers. But with the technology of VHS tapes, my parents was able to record the Rangers on TV for my enjoyment. Billy, he is well known for being the brains of the team, thinking of new inventions to defeat evil. Trey of Triforia is an alien, the original Gold Ranger whom arrived on Earth to fight the Machine Empire. Wesley Collins is a rich boy from the year 2001. With the keys to unlocking the Chronomorphous lies within his DNA, he became the Time Force Red Ranger. And last but not least, Ranger Slayer is none other than Kimberly Hart, who was mind controlled by the evil Lord Dragon to do his bidding. So now that you've seen their standard articulation movement, it's time to see what the figures come with. Let's start with Billy. Other than the default weapon holding hands, he comes with two close fisted hands, a power blaster in gun mode, two separated power lands. Let's move Billy off to the side. And you have the extended version of the power lands. A nicely detailed head sculpt and a blue wrapping effect piece, which is the same molding as we got from Lord Z, Psycho Red, and Lord Z again. What about Billy's teased form? Again, other than two pairs of weapon holding hands, he comes with two close fisted hands, a very nice tray of Triforia head sculpt. Let's move tray off to the side. A very unique golden power staff variation, and a gold yellowish wrapping effect piece. That makes it four different color variations. Wesley Collins, on the other hand, gets two weapon holding hands, one close fisted hand, and a thumbs up hand. Remember to give this video one too. A chrono blaster, moving west to the west, two chrono sabers. You can connect these weapons together to be the double bladed form, a nicely detailed head sculpt, and a blade inserted effect piece, which is the same molding as the one we got from Goldar, the GameStop exclusive one. And last but not least, we have Ranger Slayer. Let's help her switch sides. She has two weapon holding hands, 
but the left one is shaped specifically for it when shooting. One karate chop hand, one close fisted hand, a black power blaster, some arrows molded together, the bow of darkness, a pink arrow effect piece, the same one as we got from MMPR Pink and Psycho Pink. They couldn't make one for the three arrows, huh? Final thing to note is that you can place these three arrows inside these peg holes. Simply find where they line up properly and tap them in. Now you can have Ranger Slayer holding three arrows. So now that you've seen the articulation of these figures and everything that they come with, what do I think of Wave 5? Well, the painting and the sculpting of Billy is amazing. The simplicity of his design of a solid blue body with white diamonds on it, that if there was an error, then Hasbro really has some QC issues. I've seen online where someone's figure doesn't have the white neck, but that was only on one post that I've seen so far. The helmet design is a bit of a hit and miss kind of situation, but I feel that it looks good on the Lightning Collection figure. Even if you hadn't seen the show since its release, you couldn't even tell that there could be some discrepancies. Here's a Figuarts Torikera Ranger for comparison. So of course the Torikera Ranger looks better. It's a more pricier figure, so Tamashii Nations had to make it worth it. So despite the minor helmet differences, Billy's figure is pretty good. And other than the Legacy version, which I don't have, has the Power Lance, I'm glad that we have that too on the Lightning Collection. Although I do wish the SH Figuarts version had a longer Torikera Lance. Comment down below if you want to see a review on Dan. As for Billy's head, it's pretty good. I heard you can take off his glasses, but I'm not going to do that for mine. What about Trey? Well, since I did not get the SDCC Jason 2 pack, I'm glad that Hasbro has released the Gold Ranger as a separate figure. And I must say that the painting and the sculpting of this figure is golden. Not only that we get a dull shade of gold instead of a mustard cheese color, looking at you Legacy Zio, but Hasbro has taken the liberty of giving him a black wash as well. Just look at the detail in his armor. A little smudge here and there, but that is to be expected. Now, although the shade of gold is slightly similar, if not duller than the previous two Zeo Ranger releases, the cuffs and the boots are slightly bit brighter. Come on Hasbro, what happened? Ran out of your shiny paint budget? Other than the figure, you also get the Golden Power Staff in one of its variations. I've never seen this mode before. As compared to the Legacy version, this area here is unpainted, but it does have the details molded in. This is definitely a clear indication of Hasbro running out of paint budget. If this staff disturbs you, you can give him the Legacy version to hold and pose with it. The tray hit is pretty nice though. Well would you look at the time, it's time for Wesley Collins. So if you remember in my previous SPD Omega Ranger review, I mentioned that that figure had a new body mold. Well apparently, Time Force Red debuted first with this body mold. That's it. That's all I wanted to plug in. Time Red, the first ranger to be killed on scene in the first episode of the season. I just love his helmet design. And did you know that Time Force was the first season of Power Rangers to have a coloured visor? Well now you do. The design is simple yet effective. His belt buckle is neat, his chrono morpher is visible. Sadly you can't rotate the morpher to recreate his morph sequence pose, but that's okay. The only downside to this body mode are his armpits, cause this is as close as you can get his arms to his body. Same problem with Omega. Other than that, with this body mode Wes looks really good. He can double wield his swords or combine them into the double bladed form. The Chrono Blaster is kinda neat, although I don't remember it being used much on the show. And we have his head sculpt, which really does look like Jason Font. Just like the figure, you can give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I'm done with that joke. Ranger Slayer, a fan favorite character from the Boom Studios comics. And I must say, this is definitely a character in which I was patiently waiting for. Now everyone knows that the original Pink Ranger was every boy's, and girl's, first crush ever. So although we've gotten a Pink Ranger from Wave 2 of the Lightning Collection, 
This design is more badass. Although I do wish we had gotten a short haired Kimberly head sculpt, but I guess Hasbro took this design from her first appearance in the comics. The cape is made of a semi soft plastic material, with no skirt allows her to have a slaying spread. The bow of darkness does look like two swords of darkness molded together. Her helmet is really pointy, unlike the classic smooth design of the OG pink. The belt design looks like it's been glued on, so be careful. Sadly, the paint job on my figure's morpher is a little flawed. I love how the tie designs look a bit worn out, and the white paint on the arm looks very sexy. Even the tiny paint apps on the cape looks cleanly applied. There's supposed to be a white and pink paint on her hands, but I can custom paint that another time. Other than that, this figure is killing it, or perhaps slaying it. <laughs> So I know that Wave 5 came out a while back in March earlier this year, and I'm basically playing catch up right now, which is why I decided to review the Wave as a whole. If you're a big fan of Power Rangers, regardless of the season, you should really pick all four of these guys up, with the exception of Zeo Gold, if you had already purchased the SDCC Jason 2 pack exclusive. Billy, you need him to complete the team. Time Force Red, who doesn't love Time Force? Ranger Slayer, a badass pink ranger? Of course you gotta have her. Can you spot them on the shelf? <laughs> so if you enjoyed this figure review, blast that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of Wave 5, share this video to convince your friends why they should get Wave 5, and most importantly, consider subscribing. This is my road to 1000 subscribers, so I'll do my best to bring you great content as well as great editing. This is KID, I'm the man, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm.